this is is a frequency distribution of all of my process paths with the most commonly followed behavior showing up here towards the left. Now this is clearly going to expose when steps have been skipped over, done repeatedly, or totally out of order with the most common behaviors highlighted here for us. So what we have is the, the our events here along the left. Along the top we've got the number of claims which have gone one path versus another and it's going to be descending but as you scroll to the right you're going to see any number of interesting and obscure paths where things are bouncing around not completing steps not going all the way through the processes we would expect so it looks like 1704 or only 5.4 percent of our claims are completing a quote-unquote straight through process and there are many different variations to how this process is being completed and one other thing to mention here is we've got another metric along the top which is our average duration so we can actually start to compare how long it's taking us to complete one execution path versus another and obviously we can start to drive towards not only a more compliant form of completing this claims process but a more efficient process from a timing perspective right so that our throughput comes into focus and we can make sure we do everything in a timely manner we have the ability to actually change this metric and take this a step further so if I don't want to look at this by my average duration but instead by the cost of each one of these execution paths I have this metric available to me so now I can start to focus a bit more on the bottom line and say this is the amount it costs us when we go the straight through path. There's some other variances when we ex execute other behaviors. Obviously, this one that's $208 versus the 110 is not ideal. We want to hone in on this and figure out exactly what's happening here, who is executing these specific claims, and try to push them towards the more efficient, from a cost perspective, execution path for these claims. Right? But we can now compare all of our different process paths and see where the costs are being incurred and where our bottom line is being affected you know from, from a large perspective okay now if there's something that stands out here is you know you just this shouldn't be occurring or a safety risk or a compliance issue we have the ability to really drill in on that very very quickly so let's say this coverage confirmation step we expect that that should always be happening no matter what and if it's skipped this is going to be a non-compliant claim and what we can do is we can set a filter that says exclude timelines with this activity right so we're gonna look at all the claims that have not had a coverage confirmation step essentially and when I set that filter it actually shows me there are quite a few different paths where we haven't completed a coverage confirmation and it looks like gone on to complete subsequent parts of the process which would be a huge red flag in the insurance business now we can again drill a bit further into these specific instances start to uncover root cause where where can we start to focus our efforts to remediate this and make sure we put the protocols into place to make sure we're not skipping that coverage confirmation step and processing unconfirmed claims so that filtering of the data that I've just done will become a theme you'll see as we go. We'll start with our large data set and begin to whittle it down to more manageable sizes based on conditions that we build in or sometimes just let the tool do the analysis on its own to try to uncover the interesting things that are happening within our workflows. Now the last aspect to mention about this path is that analysis is we actually have the ability to not look at this from a, an arrow based perspective but look at it via the schema so we can include the actual process schemas as a part of this frequency distribution and start to visualize exactly where things are going from a schema visualization perspective giving us maybe a, a more graphical look at exactly how each of these paths are being executed